Hey guys, welcome to Engineering Mathematics Application and Coding Channel. In this video, let's see Newton Raphson method using C. Before going into the program, let's go into algorithm. Step 1 Start. Step 2 Define the function as f of x. Step 3 Define the first derivative of f of x as g of x which need to be solved. Step 4. Input initial guesses x0, tolerable error e and maximum iteration n. Step 5. Initialize iteration counter i equal to 1. Step 6. If g of x0 equal to 0, then print mathematical error and go to step number 12 otherwise go to step number 7 it means it guesses whether the denominator is 0 then step number 7 calculate x1 equal to x0 minus f of x0 divided by g of x0 this is the formula used in newton raphson method to find x1 Step 8. Increment the iteration counter i equal to i plus 1 and even you can use i equal to i plus plus which is the increment operator. If i is greater than or equal to n then print not convergent and go to step number 12 otherwise go to 10. Step 10. If mod of f of x1 is greater than e which is tolerable error then set x0 equal to x1 and go to 6 otherwise go to 11. Step number 11 print root as x1. Step 12 stop. Now let's see the program. Here the C++ program on Newton Raphson method. Here the header files used are ash include IO stream. IO stream means input output stream. Ash include IO manip. IO manip means input output manipulation. Ash include math.h. Math.h is a library file where the mathematical expression or the mathematical tools are stored or inbuilt. Ash include stridlib.h. Stridlib means standard library. Now, here we need to define the function to be solved. It is defined using ash define f of x 3 star x minus cos x minus 1 which is same as 3x minus cos x minus 1 then we need to define derivative of f of x which is defined above as g of x it is defined using ash define g of x 3 plus sin x in f of x it is 3x derivative of 3x is 3. Then the derivative of cos x is minus sin x. So the derivative of f of x becomes 3 plus sin x. Using namespace std, it is written according to the syntax or grammar of C. Now here is the Starting main function. Let's hear the main function starts at int main. In int main, let's declare the variables required. Here the variables are de declared using the data type float. In float, we declare the variables x0, x1, f0, f1, g0 and e. x0 is declared for initial guess and 
E is declared for tolerable error. And in the next line, we declared the some more variables using int data type. In int, step equals to 1, which is used for iterations. P is the variable used for setting the precision. N is the variable used for number of maximum iterations. Now, next is setting the precision and writing floating point value in fixed point notation. Setting precision, cout slash n, which means next line operator or new line operator. Enter how many decimal places? C in P, C out set precision P, fixed. Here it is used to read the number of decimal places the user want. Now let's read essential inputs. C out, enter initial guess. It is read C in X naught. C out, enter tolerable error. C in E. C out, enter maximum iteration. Here it is asking to enter the maximum number of iteration which is read using the variable n. C in n. C out, enter. It is used to print the line. Here it is in the double quote which is printed as it is in the output screen. C out, Newton Rapson method. It is the heading which is printed as it is in the output screen since it is in the double quotation. Next, we are applying the nap Newton Rapson method. Here we use do while loop. Do g naught equals to g of x naught. Here we compute g of x naught and assign that value to the variable g naught. F naught equal to f of x naught. f of x naught is computed and assigned to the variable f naught. Here we check if g naught equal to 0. If it is true, see out mathematical error, exit 0, which means it comes out of the screen. If it is false, x1 equal to x0 minus f0 divided by g0, which is the formula used in Newton Rapson method to find x1. See out iteration, which is under the double quote, which is printed as it is. Step step is the number of iteration. x again it is in the double quote printed as it is. Set w10. It is used to set the width. x1 is the answer. f of x0 equal to set width 10. f of x1 and l. Now x0 equals to xn, which means the value of x1 is assigned to the variable x0. Now let's increment the step. Step equal to step plus 1. Let's check the condition if step is greater than n. If it is true, see out not convergent, exit 0, which comes out of the output screen. Here we are checking the number of iterations. Now f1 equal to f of x1. Then we check at last while f absolute of f1 is greater than e. Now obtaining the solution. We obtain the solution using c out. Endl root is x1. Return 0. Now let's see the output. Now here is the output screen. It is asking enter how many decimal places? Let's enter 4. Press enter. 
enter the initial guess now the initial guess for the given equation is 2 press enter it is asking enter tolerable error let's enter 0 0.0000000 1 press enter enter maximum iteration let's enter 10 press enter now it is showing newton raphson method iteration 1 x equal to 0 0.6145 f of x equal to 0 0.266 iteration 2 x equal to 0.6071 f of x equal to 0 iteration 3 x equal to 0.6071 f of x equal to 0 hence root is 0.71 which is shown here root is 0.6071 here it is showing up to four decimal places since we have entered four decimal places thank you